There are a lot of people out there that think they're incredibly smart, and most of them are, are, are pretty dumb, let's be honest. I'm pretty sure there's a direct correlation between people that think they're, they're like Sheldon Bazinga. Cooper and actually being very stupid. But I've never seen anyone that thinks they're very smart that is actually very smart. And today, we're going to be taking a look at, at the cream of the crop of those people. Oh, here we go, here we go, dropping a bit of Tinder game. What's a werewolf's favourite type of salad? Hmm, possibly a... Arugula. I don't know what that is. What's an arugula salad? I don't know. I don't care enough to look it up. You got it. I have a high IQ. I won't take the test because there's no good way to gauge IQ at less not yet lol. Well, you misspelled three words in that uh, relatively short sentence. I, I, don't, I don't think you do, pal. I'll be honest. The word laser being an acronym blew my mind. It's actually really bad to admit this. All of us over 100 IQ learnt this at like nine years old. Is it an acronym? What does it stand for? What does laser stand for? I'm sorry. I'm not a genius. I'm not. I'm not. I, I did an IQ test actually and I got bang on 100 and 100 is, is the average I'm pretty sure. So I'm bang on average intelligence. Let's go. Light amplification by simulated emission of radiation. Wow you learn something new every day. Wait what is this other people? It's kind of hot and muggy today think it'll rain. My family there's a lot of low pressure forming over Yuma moisture should be coming north from over the from the Pacific over Mexico and with the current dew point we should expect rain at about 4pm. None of us can talk small. Your family also sounds incredibly boring. Oh god God, okay. Story-wise and plot-wise, Doctor Strange movies are 200 IQ plus movies and Sonic movies are like 70 IQ movies. I've heard people say they don't like the first Doctor Strange because it was too confusing. So to see this is not surprising. I watched the new Doctor Strange just because I wanted to get out of the house for a bit and sit in another dark room that wasn't my bedroom. But I watched it. It was all right. I didn't understand a lot of it because I, I didn't watch WandaVision. I, I was just kind of I was kind of like, wow, pretty special effects and, and stuff. But can I just say, the post credit scenes were absolute wank, especially the second one. I mean, I personally don't really care about Marvel. I only sit through the post credit scenes because I don't want to look like an idiot and get up halfway through. I don't want the dork sitting in the cinema and go, oh, he doesn't realise there's a post credit scene. I, I realise there's a post credit scene. I just don't fucking care. But no, they were shit. Like, the one, I waited like 10 minutes through credits and at the end, it was just like a guy and he just was like punching himself in the head and then he just stopped punching himself in the head. It was shit. So when I used to conduct interviews for Google, I rejected all women on the spot and trashed their resumes in front of them. I told them, go have some kids. Don't worry, I'm smarter than you, I know. Then I I gave them an NP hard problem and went home. I, I don't know what that means, but uh, okay. I bet you get bitches, pal. I bet you get bitches. <laughs> Via Twitter for iPads. <laughs> Model tells Good Morning Britain men have to take an IQ test if they want to date with her. And she says some people don't care to keep up with current events, which can be a turn off. You know what? I want someone who is completely blissfully unaware of anything happening in the world. I don't want to talk about current events. Most of them are depressing. Okay, okay. I'm too smart to work out. Help! I can't get myself to exercise. There's a fact that smart people get bored doing simple things. As you all get bored shitting, I get bored learning about nuclear physics. <laughs> what? I mean, I'm sure I get bored learning about nuclear physics too. Due to this situation, I do not have the motivation to work out. It's too simple of an activity and I get incredibly bored doing it. Should I just take steroids? <laughs> it won't be fit. Or are there pills I can take to become less superior? <laughs> Right, just, just start watching this channel. Just start, just start watching this channel. You'll be, you'll become less smart by the day. Oh, okay, okay. Here's one I can relate to. Does anyone else who is super intelligent have troubles finding romantic partners because you are too high maintenance? Yeah, that's me. I'm too busy doing uh, uh, physics A-level papers for fun. My, I had, I've always struggled having intellectual conversations with many. It's exhausting trying to explain every single thing I'm talking about as if they're kids. Me too, bro. Me too. You know, I just want to have a nice chat about quantum physics with the boys in spoons. But they don't want to entertain the idea. They want to talk about footy and women. God, what a, what a bunch of idiots. Am I right, guys? Okay, so this is a response to a meme. That was actually a really good one. I personally thought it was trite and infantile. But I know the average IQ on here is pretty low. So it doesn't surprise me that so many people liked it. <laughs> Minus 37 upvotes. All right, I'm guessing this is someone talking about how high their IQ is. Mine is so high that it couldn't be measured by the old Sanford B not used in public schools and designed to test folks with IQs of 80 to 120. Essentially, I was sent to take the Cattell IQ test, a test design. A test designed to separate the very high Q folks from each other. Again, I aced the test and did so quickly. So again, okay, I can see where this is going. I'm not reading the whole fucking thing. Elden Ring comment sections are the reason why aliens won't visit us. Man, watch your Instagram, lol. I bet I've <laughs> Better than you and pull better looking women. I grew up a gamer, so games are pretty easy. And honestly, the only people who struggle with games tend to be fairly unintelligent. Bro, go on, get get no, you don't.
don't get women commenting on other gamers fucking YouTube videos or whatever like this. You, you, you don't get bitches. I'm sorry to say, especially when they're about Elden Ring. Fuck off. Oh my God. Okay. I, I see the word fursona in this one. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I am confused. Is your Discord profile picture a fox or a wolf? It's my, <laughs> it's my fursona, a Finnish spiss, which is a type of dog. Oh, cool. I love wolves, but dogs are cool too. I want my fursona to be like a business wolf. Black wolf with suit. My name Kato has a hidden meaning in Latin. What does it mean? Based on my personality, Kato is intelligent, shrewd. Oh, cool. To be fair, neither of these people are coming off uh, particularly well in my eyes. Both are furries, so both are as bad as each other. Oh my fucking god. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love to learn. I 100% fit the word shrewd. I don't know about intelligent, but I have 90% what I'm not reading fucking that. I love history and Minecraft. My quote from history, we learn from past mistakes so as not to repeat them once more. Wow, Mr. Furry, you're, you're so wise. Here is my favorite quote I wrote a while along. Dreams dreamt are passions awaiting the flame, the fires of hope, a spark of inspiration and fuel for change. You're a furry, mate. You're a you're a furry. I'm also a writer, but I don't do that much anymore. And uh, his, his, his the history quote was inspired by Winston Churchill and rewritten by him. And his other one, uh, this one I came up with by mistake or when I was talking about a dream I had. Yep. Cool. All right, Elon Musk tweet, whatever. I've just realized that we got the same test scores when we applied to MIT. And I understand why we think exactly alike. All right, yeah, sure, pal, sure. You put a full stop in the wrong place. I don't, I don't think you did. Oh, okay, here's a Discord bio. People that have long Discord bios should have their hard drives checked. All right, anime profile picture and anime banner, good start. Two long words as a username. There, there we go, it's looking good. On Togadal Nihilist, oh, fuck me, I'm not reading that. What the fuck, I don't know what any of that, I barely know, I don't know what any of them words mean. A boring person, I'm not, I... Fuck off. Roll human character. Shut up. Get some bitches. Common sense is rare these days. People look at me like I have superpowers when they see me use it. I look at them like, what? Your brain can't do this? I have an IQ of 135 plus. That's the low end. It fluctuates a little bit depending on how hard I'm trying. So I try to chalk it up to that. I don't, I don't know. That makes sense to me. I'm not impatient with everyone. It's helped a lot, actually. I'm a lot nicer to people these days. All right. Well done. Well done, pal. I understand it must be so hard being being so nice to, to those stupid people. Also, you definitely... You, you you don't have an IQ of 135 plus. What, did, what was Einstein's IQ? All right, around 160. All right, that's pretty high. I'm probably higher though. Okay, so there's an Instagram comment here. I already researched string theory, other dimensions, creation, or the beginning of the universe. What happens after death? Let's just say my mental health has never been the same. All right, cool. Shut up. Okay, okay, okay. Comment on... <laughs> A comment on uh, this American psycho scene. I don't like to show my true emotions. I'm broken on the inside. The intellectual basis in which I stand is far above the average kid of my age, 14. And it gives me a sense of deep alienation. <laughs> Just like Bateman. The world is cruel and miserable, but this movie symbolizes the message of social isolation due to intellectual precedence. Rest assured, you're not alone, fellow Sigma. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a joke. That's a joke. That's a joke. That's that's a joke. China borders countries with eight different alphabets. That's really interesting. Eight different alphabets. If you assign only one to each country, except Mongolia, and call any script an alphabet, this is such a weak image to share. People look at your page for linguistics knowledge. Please use your role better and share more accurate information about languages. I don't know much about languages, but they. They look different. Oh, it's okay. This is TikTok. It's about to be good. What I wouldn't give to not be smart. My parents would be disappointed in me when I get bees on my room. That always baffled me. Like when, when when kids at my school would be like, oh, you got a, I got bees. Oh. But I, my parents would be over the moon if I got a fucking bee. <laughs> because they expect better. I'd be naive enough to fall in love, get into trouble, make stupid decisions, and not stress about the state of the world. I'd just be a normal kid. Just for a day, I want to be relieved from the responsibility of intelligence. Yeah, me too. Me too. A <laughs> comedy for simpleton startup. Pack. All right, well, they got here. They got they got him. He's all right. I've never seen two and a half men. I, I probably agree with Jeff Dunham. Big Bang Theory, maybe. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, yeah, maybe. Don't know who that is. Um, yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> James Corden, yes, a million percent. Young Sheldon, I I would assume so. Yeah, some some of these I I do agree with. To be fair, I do agree with. I am very smart. Economics is probably the one academic field where I could confidently say I'm smarter than like 99.5 percent of those guys. This is me when I sold my Dogecoin for more than I bought it. What's on my mind, you ask? Please take a seat. Man, I'm just 
just I'm just thinking about what the next video on this channel is going to be, to be honest. And when am I going to find time to build my Lego R2-D2? This guy on a post I made in another subreddit about typos. I find people that can't decipher these messages and then complain about them <laughs> to be mentally weak. Then again, I do crypto challenges for fun. Probably should not <laughs> hold people to my standard. Yes, you probably shouldn't. You are probably very, 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 very clever. Far smarter than the average person. Okay, this is a Reddit bio. Engineer with an advanced background. <laughs> Rapper and professional comedian. I've got 134 IQ, which is higher than the average. I'm fluent in English, Spanish, French, German, and Italian. By fluent, he means he's done like the first tier of Duolingo and all those languages. And professional comedian, he, he means he's made like one YouTube video. The MCU is bottom of the barrel entertainment wise. They don't even have a good score to go with any film. And all you get is Guardians of the Galaxy with his low tier boomer rock. Anyone who has watched these films and enjoyed them have the same intellectual IQ minus 137. Of the average American, so I'm not surprised they're so famous. That was me when I was upset that I didn't understand a lot of the new Doctor Strange movie because I haven't watched WandaVision. They release so many fucking Marvel TV shows and shit now though. Like, how, how does anyone keep up? You must be unemployed to keep up with all the Marvel TV shows and movies at this point. There's so fucking many. Or you just must not watch anything else other than Marvel stuff. I'm tired of pretending I respect Christmas. Yes, I said it! Christian and religious are a plague to society and we are meant to pretend they are normal. So I'm gonna say it out loud, if you're Christian you are less smart than an atheist. I fuck it up. Ah, I, I don't like people that like brag about being atheist. It's just fucking cringe. It's like they say it as a badge of honor to try and put other people down and try and make themselves seem like divine or smart or, or something. It doesn't. It doesn't make you look smart, you, you silly goose. But anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in a bit. Bye.